So we're going to start off with our main color, which is going to be this peaches and cream uh, cotton yarn that I got from Walmart. And this is bright pink. So I'm going to start off with my uh, darkest and brightest color. And then I'm going to switch off to this other peaches and cream cotton yarn. And this is in pastel pink. And then I'm going to switch off to a white. So I just wanted to throw it out there and tell you guys what order I'm going to be doing this in. To begin, we are going to chain a total of 48. I have chained a total of 48. And now we are going to add three extra more chains. There is one two and three now you are going to place a double crochet in the four chain from the hook so go ahead and put a double crochet right into there so the extra three chains that we have made in the foundation chain will count as a double crochet and this brings us to our very second double crochet. Into the next three chains, we want to go ahead and put one double crochet. So we're going to begin right here, putting one double crochet, and then we're going to put another one. There's two, and then we're going to put our last one, which is three right here. Okay, so we have two double crochets right here, that chain three, then the double crochet and the four chain from the hook. Then we have one double crochet into the next three chains. Next, what we want to do is do a double crochet decrease. If you are not sure how to do a double crochet decrease, I'm going to quickly show you how to do it. If you want more of a detailed video, you might want to go to another video where they show you how to do this stitch. But just right quick, we are going to put the yarn around our hook, go into the stitch right here, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, okay? And we're not gonna make a full double crochet. And then you're going to wanna yarn over, and then you're gonna go straight into the next stitch, right there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through all three and you have done a double crochet decrease. And then we're going to go ahead and do another double crochet decrease. You're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, and then go into the next stitch to get your decrease in. And then you're gonna stick your hook in there, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, okay? After this, we want to place one double crochet into the next three stitches. One. Two. And there is three. So now we are going to put two double crochets into this very Next stitch after, there's one and two. I want to go ahead and put two double crochets into the very same stitch and we are repeating what we are going to be doing throughout this whole pattern. There's two double crochets and we will put one double crochet into the next three stitches there's two and three double crochets now we want to go in and do a double crochet decrease just like that and do another double crochet decrease
So now that we have our two double crochet decreases, we're going to go in and put one double crochet into the next three stitches once more. One, two, and three. Now we want to put two double crochets into the next stitch, one and two. So there's our very second repeat. Okay, so after this two, you know you have to go in and start all over again with another set of two double crochets, one and two. Now we want to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, whoops, there's two, and we want to put another one for three. Okay, now we want to put a double crochet decrease over here. And this is our valleys that we're doing. Now we want to put another double crochet decrease. Okay, now we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three double crochets and for the very last of this repeat we're going to put two double crochets and that is the third repeat of this row and now we're going to uh, finish the rest here so now we are going to put two double crochets again because we're repeating what we have done there's uh, two double crochets, one double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three double crochets. And now we want to go ahead and put uh, a double crochet decrease. Okay, now we're going to put another double crochet decrease. So now we are going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. There is one, two, and three double crochets. Okay, so we are finally at the end and you should have one more stitch remaining. And we want to put two double crochets here at the end. One and two double crochets. Okay, so now we are moving on to uh, row two. So we are simply going to chain one and turn our work. Okay, so for row two, you are simply going to crochet two times inside of it with a single crochet. There's one and two single crochets. Now we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three single crochets. So right here we are going to do a single crochet decrease. If you don't know how to do a single crochet decrease, all you have to do is put your hook into the stitch pull up a loop, go straight into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so now we're going to do another single crochet decrease into the next stitches. Just like that. So we've done two single crochet decreases. After this, we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, 
and three. So we have three single crochets and into this very next stitch we're going to put two single crochets. Okay, so now we're going to repeat what we have done all over again. So into this next stitch we're going to put two single crochets into the same stitch and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three single crochets. And then right here we want to do a single crochet decrease. And we should know how to do that by now because I've already shown you. Do another one. Okay. And if I'm going a little too fast, you might want to pause it. After we do that, we are going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three single crochets. Right here, we are going to put two single crochets into the very same stitch. So now we're going to repeat what we have done again. Put two single crochets into the next stitch and then put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three single crochets. And into the next stitch, we want to put a single crochet decrease, okay? And then we're going to put another single crochet decrease. After that, we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three single crochets, okay? So after these three single crochets, we want to go ahead and put two single crochets into that stitch right there, right after. And then we're going to repeat this once more. Okay, so after these two single crochets, we're going to put another set of two single crochets because we're repeating what we have done. And this is going to be our very last repeat. So there's two single crochets. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. And now we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And then we're going to repeat this once more and do a single crochet decrease. So we have four stitches left. And what we wanna do is put one single crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, and three. And remember how I told you guys that this chain three counts as a double crochet? We want to go into the third chain right here, which is right there. And we wanna put two single crochets into there. There's one and two. So there's our two double crochets at the end. Now what I'm going to do next is finish off my color and I'm going to change my color to the color pastel pink and you can change colors however you want to but I change my colors by finishing off and then reattaching because when you're working on a project, something like, you know, on a chevron, I really want the edges to be neat. So I finish off and then work along the tail and then tuck them in that way. So when I'm done, I don't have to, uh, you know, do any weaving in because I don't like that. For row three, we are going to put one double crochet into the same stitch as the chain three and into the next three stitches we will put one double crochet there's one two and three double crochets then we are going to go ahead and do a double crochet decrease 
right there. And we want to make sure that we're also, um, you know, crocheting over those tails because they're going to be kind of hard to tuck in later. We're going to do another double crochet decrease. And then we're going to put one double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one. two and three double crochets now we're going to put two double crochets right here there's one and two double crochets okay now we're going to put two double crochets right after that and we are repeating what we just did so there's two double crochets and then there's one double crochet into the next three stitches there's one two and three double crochets and now we're going to put a double crochet decrease which creates our valley okay and then we're going to do another double crochet decrease right there and then we want to put one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three so there's three double crochets and now we want to put two double crochets okay and then and and then we want to start over again and do two double crochets and then we want to put one double crochet into the next three stitches there's one two and three double crochets okay now we want to do a double crochet decrease and then we're going to repeat another double crochet decrease and then we are going to place one double crochet into the next three stitches there's one two and three double crochets and then we're going to place two double crochets into that very next stitch okay and then we're going to repeat this once more because we're coming here to the end we're going to put two double crochets Okay, now put one double crochet into the next three stitches. There's one, two, and three double crochets. Now we're going to do a double crochet decrease two times. There's one, and now here's our second double crochet decrease. And then we have four stitches left. We want to put one double crochet into those next three stitches. One, two, and there's three. Okay, and your, your stitch is gonna be hiding at the end. It's gonna be a little shy right here, but you have to go into this stitch and put two double crochets. If you're finishing off like I am, it's going to do this. It's going to kind of tuck in and put two double crochets. Okay, so that's that for row three. That's basically it. All you're going to do is repeat rows two and three until we get to the end of row 24. So all you have to do is just change off every row, okay? And what I mean by that is because we did double crochets on row 3, row 4 will be single crochets, row 5 will be double crochets, so, so on and so forth. And also, every two rows, we are going to change off our color. So I'm going to do one more row of pink, and then I'm going to switch off and go to the hot, the, the more darker pink, okay? 
So you should have a total of 12 stripes by time you are done and ready to go to row 25. On row 25, we will start doing some leveling and get on to the rest of our dish towel. So go ahead and repeat rows 2 and 3 and we will meet up as soon as uh, we're ready for row 25. I just got done reaching the end of 24, which is where I finished off right here. So what we want to do is uh, we have ended with 12 stripes, like I said. So we're going to start off with our main color that we have been using, which is this uh, pretty pink right here. So I have attached my yarn, and this is wrong side facing the way I have it twisted right now. And um, we are now working on row 25, which is going to uh, be the leveling row. So all we want to do is after we uh, have our new color attached, you're just going to chain one and then turn your work right side facing. And you uh, always want to work over the tails, remember that. Makes it so much easier to do that. Okay, so we are on row 25, which is the leveling row. And what we're going to do is put one single crochet into the same stitch. Just like that. And then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches, placing one and two and three so there's a total of four single crochets and yes that is my baby in the background okay so then we're going to repeat this uh what, what i'll call is a, a repeat or a sequence uh, we're going to do one half double crochet into this next stitch right here remember you want to go over your tails and then we're going to put one double crochet into those next two stitches one and then two there's two double crochets then we're going to put into this very next stitch we're going to put one half double crochet Okay, now we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Okay, so now we've come to where we're going to skip two stitches. One and two. We want to skip these two stitches right here and jump right here and put one single crochet into the next three stitches. we have our three single crochets so we're going to repeat this a total of three times okay and then the ending will be a little bit different now we want to put a uh, half double crochet into this next stitch and then we're going to put one double crochet into the next two stitches there's one and two then we're going to put one half double crochet into that next stitch and then we're going to put one single crochet into the next three stitches one two and three okay so now we are going to uh, skip two one and two we're going to jump straight to this one right over here and then put one single crochet into those next two stitches for a total of three, two, and three. Then you're going to repeat one more time, putting one half double crochet, one double crochet into the next two stitches, kind of stalled there for a minute, one and two. Putting one half double crochet into the next stitch, and then putting one single crochet into those next three stitches. Skipping two, one, two, jumping to this one right over here, putting one single crochet into the next three stitches. Okay, so that was the last of that. Now we're going to end differently. 
Now we are going to put one half double crochet into this next stitch right here. One half, one uh, double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two. Now we're going to put one half double crochet. And now we're going to put one single crochet into the last four stitches, okay? So we have one, two, three, and four right here, okay? So that's our last single crochet right there. So as you can see here, we have leveled our chevron dish towel. Doesn't that look cool? Okay, for row 26, we are simply going to uh, chain one, and then we are going to turn our work. For row 26, we are going to single crochet into the very same stitch, which is right there. Okay, so then we are going to do a single crochet decrease right here so do your decrease and then in the next stitch we're going to put a single crochet and then we're going to do a single crochet decrease again And then we're going to put a single crochet. And then we are going to do a single crochet decrease again. And then put a single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to repeat this until we get to the end. Okay, and we should have a total of 28 stitches right there and we're coming to the end and we will end with a single crochet decrease okay so now we are going to finish off so we can change our color and I'm going to flip my work <clears throat> Okay, so from rows 27 all the way until you uh, reach row 29, you are going to repeat row 26, which is just chain one, and then you're going to single crochet into the same stitch, just like that, and then you're going to do a single crochet decrease. So do your decrease. Then put a single crochet and then do another decrease. Don't worry about this stuff. You can clip it later if you get these little things. Then put a single crochet and then put a single crochet decrease. Okay. And then single crochet and then a single crochet decrease okay so we're going to keep repeating this until we get to uh, row 29 at the end of row 29 we should have a total of nine stitches at the end now we are at the end of row 29 and I have nine stitches left okay so now we are going to be working on row 30 through 34 and you're just going to chain one and turn your work. Now what we're going to do from row 30 to row 34, you're just going to put uh, chain one and then you're going to just uh, go ahead and single crochet into the same stitch and then single crochet your way across for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so we're going to just repeat this until we get to row 34. Okay, this is like the easiest row ever, just putting one single crochet. Okay, so now we are uh, going to be working on row 35. 
And um, also, I decided to keep this color going. I'm not going to change my colors anymore. You can continue to uh, change your colors every two rows, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it one color. So it's it's really up to you. So now we're working on row 35. For row 35, we're actually going to be working um, some decreases again. So just chain one and turn your work again. Okay, so we are currently on row 35. For row 35, we are going to single crochet into the same stitch. And then we are going to do a single crochet decrease again. And then do a single crochet. And then do a decrease. And then do a single crochet. And then end with a decrease. Okay. So now we are currently moving on to row 36 and you're just going to chain one, turn your work. Now we are going for a total of five single crochets. Now for this row, we're going to do chain one and then single crochet into the same stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into the next. And then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. Okay. And then into um, the next two stitches, we're going to place one single crochet. One and two. So we have a total of five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we will be moving on to row 37. For row 37, chain one and turn your work. So from row 37 all the way until your work measures 6 inches, you're going to uh, repeat this. And when I say reaches uh, 6 inches, you want to measure it from here all the way up until the end until it measures um, 6 inches. So from here on, you're just going to chain 1 and then single crochet into the all 5 stitches. And that's all we're doing, okay? So, just keep chaining one, turning your work, and then uh, putting a single crochet into it, okay? So, I will meet you guys in a moment, just as soon as my piece reaches six inches. Okay, so I have reached about six inches, and where you start doing your one single crochet across is where you're going to start off and start uh, measuring from. So I went a little bit over six inches and I did a total of 20 rows of uh, single crochet. So you can make this as long as you want. You don't have to make it um, the size that I said. You can make it shorter or longer. Just make sure it's long enough to fold over for when you make your button for your, uh, to hang it in your kitchen. Okay, so after this, uh, we're simply going to begin making our buttonhole to make the buttonhole we're just going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the same stitch just like that and then we're going to single crochet once more and then we are going to chain two one and two we're going to skip one stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the fourth stitch and then we're going to single crochet into this very last stitch right here. Okay? And then you have created a buttonhole. For the next row, we're going to chain one. You're going to turn your work and you're going to single crochet into that very same stitch. Okay, now what we're going to do is skip the next stitch, which is right here. We're going to go straight into here. And then we're going to do three single crochets into here. One, two, and three. Okay. 
So we did three single crochets into the chain two space and then we're going to skip the next stitch and then put one single crochet into the last stitch. Okay. Okay, for the last row, chain one and turn your work. Okay, for the next row, we're going to skip this stitch and this one as well. We're going to go straight into this third one right here in the middle and we're going to put five double crochets into here. One. Two. Three. Four. And there's five. Five. So there's five double crochets there. And if you guys hear music or anything, that's my son. He likes to be in here with me. Okay, so after that, we are going to skip the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch. So this next stitch right here, we're just going to slip stitch into. Okay. And there is that. Okay, so now we're just going to fasten off. And then um, you can go around your dish towel if you want to. Okay, so of course you're going to need some buttons. And this is a very light pastel pink uh, button. And this one actually matches this color. But I'm really not sure what uh, button I'm going to use. Because this one's really cute. And I got this button from Walmart. Uh, if you guys need buttons, oh my god, the best place to go is Walmart. Anyways, I think I'm going to go with this pink one. So you might want to grab your cotton yarn. I'm going to use this pastel pink. Okay, so I'm just going to thread my yarn through the back. Then you're just going to cut this off. You can barely see it, but... And then all you have to do... Is just weaving your ends and you can go around the border if you like which I'm going to do so there we have it there is our chevron dishcloth crochet tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any questions about this tutorial please leave a comment below or you can go ahead and email me my email is always open and I try to get back to you guys as soon as possible um, I just wanted to add that I did single crochet around the whole dish cloth. When you do single crochet around it, as you can see, it gives it a fuller and more cleaner, neater look. So if you guys want to single crochet around it, go ahead. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please make sure to give a thumbs up and please leave a comment below. And uh, let me know what you guys would like to see next. I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.